Hello everyone, this is Daniel and this is my sprint update for the sprint ending March 1st, 2022. For the sprint, one of the features we worked on was to enable an admin to upload lead information or lead data via CSV file to our system. Leads are potential customers or potential clients are business suffering to with prospects of signing them as clients. To demonstrate these those features and admin, you click on uh, the right hand side to open the left hand side menu and click on users tab to oh, to go to the users page i click here to open a menu items and one of the menu items that will open is lead users upload click on that you will take will be taken to this page that allows you to upload lead user information click on this button to select a file one of the terms of this feature is to allow validation uh, Again, the CSV file for possible user errors. User errors could be missing, not providing required feeds or values, and also providing wrong values for selectors. Let's try to select this file and see what we see. So for this file, we see that we have a number of errors. One of the errors is for the industry business activity, which is a selector field. And you are told that for the second row of 31st column and the third row of 31st column, you have errors there. Values provided are not valid. To help a user be able to provide valid values, we have below for each of the selector fields we have accepted value, a link to accepted values. So when you click on that link, will be taken to a file, an Excel file having the accepted values for each of those selector values, as you can see below here. You also have an option to select a sample file here by clicking on this link. Let's try uploading a file without any errors and see what will happen. So as you can see the import you have you have options to cancel the import or import the user straight away so let's click on import and be alerted that the process is ongoing and be sent to an email the feedback or the progress so let's check again as that the users we have prodded one of the users we have prodded was the secretary and then was chairman Let's check the system against those users by going to the users page and searching for those users. So let's look for the chairman. As you can see, we have this user as chairman. By clicking on that user and selecting the lead management option, you'll be checking to the lead management page and under details tab, you'll be able to see the details of that user as you uploaded from the details as for the csv file that you uploaded you can optionally edit these files depending on new requirements possibly that came in you can be able to provide the new requirements and be able to save this file by clicking on the save button and the information be saved as you've just provided another feature we worked on for this print was to allow was to add the tasks tab on this lead management page so what the tasks tab allows a user or an admin to look at uh, the tasks assigned to this lead and also be able to add a subtask to this user so you can optionally add the task tab by just typing here assemble task and copying these to add to the description let it be a to do let it be assigned to uh, myself and let me be the owner of this task and let me click on create down here so as you can see after click clicking on create when i click on subtasks i'm able to view this subtask and admin can add, optionally add comments regarding this lead and you can also upload documents regarding this lead you can also optionally now view this task and it will take you to the task tab with this task uh, sample task that was a subtask within the main task and you can also be able to view the details here this is all we worked on for this sprint hope you will enjoy this feature and see you next sprint with more interesting features thank you for watching bye